Hi everyone, I thought I'd do another quick raw edit before dinner tonight. Okay, so I'm going to start with this image. Uh, this is an image I took at a wedding, a friend's wedding recently. Uh, this gorgeous location where the bride was getting ready before the ceremony and these photos were taken before the ceremony in the morning. So you can see the image has got reasonably bright light coming in on it. You can see that the people here are squinting but that was the best we could do. So the light's coming in from behind us. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to do a quick edit and hopefully you'll like it. I'm not aiming necessarily to demonstrate anything in particular, oh, except for the crop and rotate module, I just wanted to demonstrate the, uh, so I'm just going to keep this on rule of thirds, and I'm going to use the image aspect, I just wanted to demonstrate the keystone feature, because it might be something that you can see that unless you've got a tilt shift lens, um, the lines in architecture will often not line up perfectly, so uh, it's cool to straighten it sometimes. So let's turn on the vertical keystone. Now you can see we got a few guides here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line this guide up with the architecture itself. So you can see I'm lining this line up with there and I'm going to line this one up over here. sort of get that as straight as I can, make sure this one's still lining up. I need to, I've clicked on this, so I need to, that just uh, mirrors the the angle that you've done on the left and the right. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's just try applying that. So we click OK here. So now let's pull in this crop and see if it's straight. Yeah, that's looking pretty good on the right. The left, it's a little bit overcorrected on the left. Uh, so let's go back to the vertical. Um, it's overcorrected, so I'll probably want to pull this out so it's a little bit closer to the vertical, something like that. Okay. Yep, so that's now pretty close on the left. So I'm going to pull this out and try and get as much of this gorgeous scene in as I can without cropping. Uh, and I like the sky more than I like this water in the foreground, so I'm going to pull that up to there. Alright, so now I'm going to double click to apply the crop. There's our image starting to look nice and straight. Uh, it might be a little overcorrected, but you know, you'd fiddle with this until you were happy that, it, that everything was straight, that you wanted to be straight. It's looking a little bit I'll tell you what, maybe the lens correction. Uh, so let's go into the corrections, lens correction, and turn it on. Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's hardly made much of a difference. Okay, so now I'm going to just do my normal sorts of things. So I've done the crop. Let's get the exposure right. Turn on the warning. You can press O on the keyboard instead of clicking this button. You can see that nothing is really over. Oh, there's a spot here on the bride's dress that's overexposed. Yeah, she's going to be brighter than everything else in the scene. So we probably can't push the exposure too much. I don't think it matters if we blow out her dress just slightly. Okay, and I'm going to push up these blacks just to richen up these colors a bit. Richen, if, is that a word? Make the colors richer. And... I would still like the colour to be a bit brighter and richer and I find that the tone curve, if I pull this up just a tad at the bottom, can do that quite nicely. That's far too much. Let's double click to reset that and let's just try pulling it up just a tad. You can see that that sort of non-linearly pushes everything in the, uh, in the histogram towards the right. So we're starting to get nice and bright now. I think Perhaps a little bit of uh, clarity could be handy. Subtle clarity, uh, that might be too much. Let's turn these warnings off. Um, yeah, I think that's too much. I'll turn that back off again. Might use the non-local contrast instead, which does a pretty similar thing. 
it's under here, local contrast, sorry, the local contrast, not non-local contrast, turn that on. So that's a little bit, bit more of a subtle effect. It just sharpens things up a bit. So that's starting to get there. You can see something I've turned on is uh, making things slower. I think it's probably the local contrast. Let's have a look. Yeah, the local contrast module is making things quite a bit slower, but that's all right. I might jack this up just a little bit more. Yeah, now we're starting to look good. Okay, now I might add in a little bit of Velvia. And just for fun, I'm going to try out the color zones and I'm going to darken the sky somewhat. Yeah, why not? Just to make things a little more dramatic. I still think I'm a little underexposed, so I'm just going to push that exposure up a little bit. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's getting pretty close to ready. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything else, so... Yep, we're shot at a reasonably low noise. I don't want to vignette it. I'm not going to do anything snazzy, so hope you like my edit. See ya.